<clears throat> all right hello youtubers all right so i'm set on a nice little day hike uh, i'm gonna test out this little sleeping system uh so uh yeah conditions are amazing right now it's probably right at 32 degrees about an hour before uh sunset uh just a nice little snow we got last night so there you go uh yeah we'll get to the testing in just a minute all right you guys um like I was saying, this is an elephant's foot from North Face. And uh, what this is meant for, let me get this stuff kind of off while I'm talking here. What it's meant for is uh, ultralight bivy type of situation. Uh, alpine guys, and uh, what I understand, runners too. Uh, pretty, pretty normal thing. This particular one that I have weighs about a pound, I think one pound, two ounces, but it's an older version. I think it's a 2009, um, and like I was saying, man, I'm in a I'm in a pretty normal situation. A lot of people would be in nice um, if they went out for a day hike and uh, just stayed out a little too long. And like I said, right now it's very comfortable out here, but hour it'll probably be, you know, in the probably below 30. Um, a good few hours and it'll be 18 degrees so anyways take a look at this guy now I don't know how well this will work and like a night like tonight I would need a tarp set up with a uh, um, with a fire probably now I also in my bag have um, the the bivy sacks the ultra thin emergency bivvies now I think that with this would possibly work um, but that's really a shot in the dark so let me go ahead and start getting into this now I'm kind of on the fence as to whether to wear my boots or not wear my boots I think for right now I'm gonna wear my boots now I think that would let a little moisture get in but at the end of the day I think if you're just overnight and you know like you take this situation where you got this down or not down tree but this live tree there's a lot of uh, snow on it now I don't have a perfect situation above me but if I was in the tree I think I'd be fine as it were to snow more it would actually build up and I think you'd be alright in there but anyways enough of that so this has got a pretty good skirt around it a little flap in the front so all that out get as much of this off of me as I can Now this is made out of Primaloft, so for all intents and purposes, it should be warm when wet. So hold on, let me get this thing kind of pulled up on me. <sighs> Much better. Alright, now this is not a standalone system. You do have to zip something into it. Now, it's my little high-tech uh, down coat I won last year, but not perfect but it'll probably work for this and it's something I would carry um, pretty normally especially if I'm going out when it's cold now the way this works is and you have to make sure you got the right zipper but like I've got North Face down vest that I almost always carry and that works in this really well but as you see zips in like so. Stand up again. And that pulls up your armpits. I'm a short guy, so I got plenty of this left. But uh, most people, this would go up. Um, and then you take your rain shell. keep all the wind out. Now, this would just barely zip over that.
as you can see, I can just barely get that zipper up now. If I was fully laid down, I could, but I don't want to squish the loft in here too much. Quite frankly, I think like that I'd probably be all right. Now, I can tell you this, already I'm getting pretty warm. Um, yeah, uh, now, there's gloves in this jacket. You definitely have to have full winter gloves to sustain this. Um, but I think you could be pretty good, man. Yeah, let me burrow up in here and see what that's like. Yeah, actually this would probably be just dead perfect. Um, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, like I say, I think this would just be dead perfect. There's uh, This is pretty deep under me. And it's... Uh, green so this snow just came so there's a pretty good pretty good pile under me already kind of why I picked this spot too now if I were going to stay I'd probably put that under it or some kind of burial actually I would probably find another tree and cut some fresh boughs out but not really what this is about um, it's about this little elephant's foot now just sitting here it is 32 degrees and without anything under me I could feel the cold on my butt where all my weight is but I think if I was laid up um, I would be alright um, I can feel my legs already getting warm yeah so I think it would probably be all minutes. nothing real crazy um, yeah I think it would be good man now I think you definitely need some kind of pad or pine valve or something under you conduction I can see really being a problem um, I also think not wearing the boots would be the way to go. The only thing cold on me right now, and not bad, certainly not a problem, is my boot, is my feet. Now, I've got on my heavy leather boots, but I don't have thick socks on because I wasn't going far. Um, but that's probably what would happen to most people. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I think it'd be fine. You definitely have to stop conduction. Um, but I think if you you would make it through the night. Now. That's at 32 degrees. Now I think getting much below that, you're gonna you'd have to do something else. You'd have to have somewhat better of a shelter. You'd have to have no wind. There's no wind now. And I'm not cold at all. But uh, but I think at 32 degrees, I think it certainly, I think it'd get you through a night. Wouldn't be the most comfortable thing you ever did. Also, I think um, for me, I've got a Primaloft jacket. I think the uh, I I think the down's too puffy. And wouldn't work when it was wet. And I think you would possibly, if you were to sweat in this, it'd become a problem. So, yeah, there we go. Um, but all in all, yeah, I think it's a pretty good little product. I, I think it would get you through a little something, something. I think as an emergency thing, I think it's excellent. I think you could probably find these on sale because not many people here use them in the U.S. So I would look out for some. Oh, yeah, and this is waterproof um, on the outside. The newer one's got, I think, drive-in on it. But this is an older technology. Probably doesn't breathe as well, but that's not a problem for me because winter. So, anyways, there we go. Um, yeah, North Face Elephant Foot. Uh, actually, you know what? I say that. I thought it had Primaloft in it. This older one has Polar Guard in it. So that is something to be thought of. So the new one would probably be substantially warmer than this. So uh, I would check the ratings on that. But yeah, 32 degrees. I think it's good for that, especially this older one. I bet you the newer one with Primaloft, which weighs, I think, half as much of this, would really be the way to go. So, there we go. Get outdoors. Uh, make your own food.